I'm goodies. I'm goodies. Da, ja. Ja, det jag filmar. Ja. Hi, so this is Minimum. He is the copy crochet dog that I made uh, inspired by my real dog Maximus. So this is his little brother, his little clone or whatever you want to call him. Um I just I have a few finishing touches to make, but but I wanted to show him to you now that he is done and also share the process of making him. So I think I spent around around 80 hours or perhaps even a little bit more um, making this. So I crocheted him with no pattern. I just looked at my dog and crocheted what I saw. Um, and then there was the process of attaching, tying on all the yarn pieces and of course brushing them out with a wool brush or a fur brush for pets. So um, just styling and cutting and a lot of brushing. Um, so here I'm going to show you how I attached the yarn and um, I'm using a crochet hook and then just some cut up pieces of yarn in the color I want to go with. I have a fur brush that I use for this dog. I fold the yarn in half and make like a little loop at the middle and then I take my crochet hook which this dog is crocheted with a three millimeter crochet hook and so I go through one stitch and through another one and then I just loop the little yarn end on um, the hook and basically go around to make a slip knot well no sorry not a slip knot uh, a chain stitch so here's the yarn pull it through the stitches and then pick up the ends and pull them through the loop um, that you just created on the other side of the stitch. Then I pull tight using my hands and the trick here is if you after you brush these out, if you want to cut um, the fur, um, you can't cut it too short because they will just unravel when you brush them out. So um, I usually make them a bit longer and then um, I cut after I brush and after um, cutting I'm just giving it a tug to see that it stays in place. So if it doesn't stick, I have to repeat the process and attach a new piece of yarn. And the brushing is really what takes a lot of time and effort. Um, sometimes you have to go like brush out a single string of yarn. So it can take a lot of time brushing out the yarn. And I'm using acrylic yarn for this dog. So um, So here I'm going to go and just trim it and depending on where on the dog I'm working I'm going with different lengths because my dog he's got long fur in some places and then he's trimmed in other places and I wanted to make this dog look as much as my own um, as I possibly could so going over it with a brush again and repeat and I don't know how many hundreds of yarn pieces I've stuck onto him <laughs> um, but um, when I did his back in black, I realized it was just too dark, so I ended up splitting um, small pieces of gray yarn, um, like unraveling a string into thirds, and so his back is, um, each stitch is a full complete um, black 
piece of yarn with a third of a gray in every single loop I attached a piece of yarn in. So I ended up redoing his legs, um, but we'll just go back in time and see where I started. Um, so yeah, he's almost done and <laughs> um, I've introduced him to my dog as you saw in the beginning and it was really cool to see him um, with his little copy, but he doesn't really like him, he doesn't really care about him, so, um, well, I like him, um, and that's, <laughs> that's good. So where I did single crochet stitches on him, um, in his face, I haven't attached any yarn pieces, I just brushed like the surface of the crochet to make it look kind of fluffy because he is um, usually well trimmed in his face so I didn't want to go attach anything on there because it would just not stick um, being that the yarn pieces would be too short um, so I brushed out like the tiniest amount of fibers on <laughs> and there is my real dog looking at the process um, but I brushed out the tiniest piece um, of the yarn that's just like closest to the outside so it still will stick together and not unravel itself. Um. That's the process of um, the dog. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go back all the way to the beginning when I started him and you can see that but I'm gonna say right now thank you for watching and if you want to see it to the very beginning just stay tuned and I'll show you what he looked like when I first started